Memorial Day is a federal holiday in the United States for honoring and mourning the U.S. military personnel who died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade and today we're diving into the history of Memorial Day. This federal holiday has evolved over time, but its core purpose remains the same, to honor and remember the men and women who have died in military service to the United States. Memorial Day serves as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made to protect our freedoms and is a time for Americans to reflect on the cost of liberty. Memorial Day, originally known as Decoration Day, traces its roots back to the years following the Civil War. The war, which ended in 1865, claimed more lives than any conflict in U.S. history and required the establishment of the country's first national cemeteries. By the late 1860s, Americans in various towns and cities had begun holding springtime tributes to these countless fallen soldiers, decorating their graves with flowers and reciting prayers. These early ceremonies reflected a collective need to honor the dead and recognize their ultimate sacrifice. One of the earliest known celebrations was organized by freed slaves in Charleston, South Carolina in 1865. They honored the Union soldiers who had died in captivity at the Charleston Racecourse. This significant, yet often overlooked event was one of many local observances that laid the foundation for what would become Memorial Day. By 1868, General John A. Logan, leader of an organization for Northern Civil War veterans, called for a nationwide day of remembrance later that month. The date, May 30th, was chosen because it wasn't the anniversary of any particular battle, allowing for a more universal day of commemoration. The first national celebrations of Memorial Day took place on May 30, 1868, at Arlington National Cemetery. General James Garfield, who later became the 20th U.S. President, gave a speech to a crowd of 5,000 people, who then helped decorate the graves of more than 20,000 Union and Confederate soldiers buried there. This tradition of decorating graves has remained central to Memorial Day ceremonies. Over time, this act of decoration has grown to include not just flowers, but also flags and wreaths, symbolizing a nation's enduring respect and gratitude. By the late 19th century, Memorial Day ceremonies were being held on May 30th throughout the nation. State legislatures passed proclamations designating the day, and the Army and Navy adopted regulations for proper observances at their facilities. It wasn't until after World War I that the day was expanded to honor those who have died in all American wars, not just the Civil War. In 1966, Waterloo, New York was declared the official birthplace of Memorial Day by the federal government because the town had been honoring soldiers who died in war annually since May 5, 1866. This recognition highlighted the growing national significance of the day. In 1968, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, which established Memorial Day as the last Monday in May in order to create a three-day weekend for federal employees. The change went into effect in 1971, and Memorial Day was declared a federal holiday. This act also moved Washington's birthday, Labor Day, and Columbus Day to fixed Mondays. The intent was to provide workers with more long weekends, but this shift also helped to integrate Memorial Day more seamlessly into American life, making it a day not only of remembrance, but also of communal gatherings and family activities. Today, Memorial Day is observed with various traditions, including parades, ceremonies, and the decoration of graves with flowers and flags. One of the most solemn events takes place at Arlington National Cemetery, where a wreath is laid at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Many people also observe a national moment of remembrance at 3 p.m. local time. These practices ensure that the core purpose of Memorial Day is never lost, even as the ways in which it celebrate may evolve. Additionally, many Americans use the long weekend to spend time with family and friends, reflecting on the freedoms secured by those who served. It's important to distinguish Memorial Day from Veterans Day. While both holidays honor military personnel, Memorial Day is a day for remembering and honoring those who have died while serving, whereas Veterans Day celebrates the service of all U.S. military veterans. Memorial Day also unofficially marks the beginning of summer, while Veterans Day is observed on November 11th, marking the end of World War I. This distinction helps to ensure that the unique contributions and sacrifices of each group are appropriately recognized and remembered. So, as we reflect on the significance of Memorial Day, it's crucial to remember the sacrifices made by countless individuals to secure the freedoms we enjoy today. Their legacy is honored through our continued observance and respect for this day. So, 
If you found this exploration of Memorial Day insightful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Virtual History 360. And be sure to check out my other videos for more fascinating dives into history. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.